All right, you guys, check this out. This is fried soft shell turtle with an onion gravy over white rice. Tasty Tuesday is back and it starts right now. We're catching them, we're cleaning them, we're cooking them. All right, so the first thing you need when you're gonna cook turtle, is you gotta catch turtle. And we set these lines for them just like this. Just like that. That's the size hook you're using. That's a piece of that oily salt pork. There's your bait. Now, all right, turtle lines are set. Whenever you're turtle hunting or when you're turtle fishing like this, only let your turtle line sit for about half hour come back around the Fish and Wildlife Commission here in Florida allows you to catch one per person per day from midnight to midnight each person is allowed to catch one Now, South Shell turtles are under no endangered list there's millions of them and once a year typically once a year we come out catch us a couple soft shells and uh, cook them up me and Uncle Larry having a great time this afternoon we're gonna go out and try to catch a hog and uh, cook up a big meal tonight. Sure are glad you're watching. Okay, so we uh, we let them sit for about a half an hour. Now I've got, this is the lovely Carlita. You guys, that's Carlita. You can look her up at uh, carlita.com. <laughs> I'm just kidding, that's not it. So gently, just gently pull them in. Gently pull them in. Oh, that's a good one. Easy, hold him right there, hold him right there. Hold him right there. Just let him let him settle down. That's a full grown soft shell turtle right there. Look at the flippers on that rascal. Wow. All right. this one we had one but uh got the bait that turtle went out there and got around that branch and pulled himself off oh you got a little one on there pull him up here that's a little turtle that right there's what we're looking for but that's that one's too small back flop you can see See right there, that's all where a gator slid. That's his tail. Came down here. Gator crawled up here on the bank to get him some afternoon sun. Went right down in the water. How many gators you got on this farm, Joe? Uh, probably 20. 20. Sure. All right, so we have caught one keeper, one that we let go, and obviously a couple of the other baits had been taken. And we've got three hooks to go. One's coming right up. I think we're gonna catch one right here. Ooh, gator just went down right there. Oh, I hey, we got one right here. That's for sure. <laughs> oh yeah, he's big, that's a good one. Oh yeah. Ooh, nice one. Nice one in there. About the same size as the other one. Yeah. He'll bite you, Joe. Oh no. If he's gonna bite you, let us get it on film, please. Absolutely. Let me the first time. <laughs> a little smaller than the last one. That's a nice one. Alright, so we put out eight baits. We caught three. One was a little too small, so we threw him back. We've got two keepers, which is kind of exactly what we wanted in the first place. Now let us show you how we clean them. Alright, y'all, so there it is. There's our soft shell turtle, he's dead. Got that big long head, long neck. We killed him with just a simple 22 shot right to the head. Kills him instantly, hang him upside down, bleed him out. Now, they're called soft shell because their, set, their shell is soft and you need a ultra sharp knife to do this well. That's my Silver Stag Woods and Water and it comes with a sheath. Just pull your knife along that sheath, that leather sheath it will polish your blade 
and make it perfect for doing this. First things first, come right in here and follow, follow that right along there. You'll see it. There's a perfect little part of a shell, just like that. Just like that. Follow this down. Just like that. There's a little, there's a little joint right in there. That's probably the hardest part, is getting that joint. There you go. Right here. That's your hind quarter. I'll show you how to fix that up. All right. Now, just cut this. Cut that right around. I can't even express to you how important it is to have a sharp knife. And so now, you're just gonna use your knife, skin him right out. Now all we want to do, trim off this fat, just like that. Sorry about the uh, noise in the background. We're just here in my backyard at my house. <laughs> it sounds like someone's doing their yard over there near us. Each little muscle, you just cut it off. They say that turtle has like seven different types of meat, seven different colors. All that is just succulent. If I were to cook every kind of wild game you can imagine and put it all on a table and none of it had a name and just cooked it all, I would bet that soft shell turtle would be amongst everybody's favorite. All right, you guys, just like that, this is all of our boned out, skinned out, defatted, awesome meat. It's all cut into small pieces. And we will, we'll cook this, we're gonna put it over rice with brown gravy. And then, I could have gotten more meat off the bones, but I wanted to leave some meat on the bone because I'm gonna boil down these two front shoulders, the hind quarter, and the neck. Let it simmer down, simmer down, simmer down, pull it apart, take the bones out, and make an awesome turtle soup. So. Anytime I use this knife, I spray it down with a little pan, just like that. Puts a nice coat of oil on it. Revealing. Now, Sarah is getting ready to go to Wisconsin with the baby today. So I have like half an hour to get this done. I want to make her a nice lunch before she leaves. This inside here, that's uh, Everglades all-purpose breader. If you use it, don't, don't add anything to it, it's perfect. You don't, I mean, add nothing to it. Just roll your fish or chicken or meat in it and you'll be good to go. Check that out. Beautiful. Aria, are you trying to get on camera? Nothing like your first baby. She's drunk on daddy's love. I'm telling y'all right now, it is so hard going away to work and having your family away and Sarah's pregnant and Aria's probably gonna be walking in the next week. And this is like amazingly hard. Trying to wake up. Down to the wire. Sarah's got to leave, so better get this party started. Looks beautiful, golden brown.
There's our fried turtle bites. We're gonna we're gonna kick it up a notch. Now I'm gonna add a little bit of bacon to it, just like that. Then I'm gonna add some onion, just like that. And I'm gonna let this cook. I wish y'all could smell this. But I do have to add one thing. Can anyone guess? Everglades original. That. When you're making gravy, Everglades original is like a must. Watch this. all-purpose flour. Once your mixture starts getting gummy, take you some milk. Put plenty in there. Just like that. Gravy start to thicken just like a lot. All right, and this is how it's done. Right in the center plate, right on top of the rice, some turtle on top of the turtle, and the rice is some gravy. That right there is a southern treat. Lord, I thank you so much for this day. I thank you for all this food. Thank you for all of our many blessings. Lord, I pray that you watch over little Aria and Sarah as they travel up to Wisconsin. And I pray that you watch over Cindy and the boys on their way down from New York. Keep everyone safe. And please nourish us through our body. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Okay. It's remarkably tender, unbelievably tender. It's like like a turtle, I guess. Nothing else I've ever <laughs> ate. I mean, it's delicious. Very, very good and very, very tender. The breading is really good. What kind of breading do you use? Everglades, all purpose. Mm, it's really good. Like, it feels like it's tough to cut with a fork or a knife, but then it you eat it and it doesn't, fork. it doesn't, yeah. it's not chewy. Mm. Mm. I would have never guessed it in a hundred years that it would be this tender. Really? The bigger they are, the tougher they get, or does that not apply to turtles? It doesn't apply. Just the bigger they are, the more meat you get. How, how big was this one? 18 pounds, maybe. It's good. The uh, alligator, you usually have to cube it a little bit to make it tender. Mm -hmm. It's usually tough, um, or tougher. It's still good, delicious, but soft shell turtle, you don't have to do anything to it. It's just amazingly tender and delicious. It's, it's got its own flavor. Yeah. Like, it's not like. What would you even compare it to? There's nothing you can compare it to. No. And there's nothing. It's its own. Yeah. Alright, y'all. Well, uh, I better get to eating. And I've got to edit. Then Larry's going to take Sarah down to the airport and get his phone fixed. Lots to do, lots to do. Thank you so much for hanging out with us, being a part of our channel and a part of our lives. We are... Gone. <laughs>